Hi, I'm Jack Grizzle, and this is my presentation on Say Shonigan. Say Shonigan was born in the year 966 and lived to the year 1017 or so. The exact date she passed away is not exactly known, and it's speculated she became a nun in her later years. She's the daughter of a scholar and a well-known poet that gave way to her following the family footsteps. The, th the writing she's famous for is her pillow book. This book was a very unique style of writing and a point of view at the time. For several hundred years, the book circled in court by handwritten manuscripts that stood the test of time. Say Shogun's The Pillow Book was a collection of essays, anecdotes, poems, and descriptive passages in the late 900s and early 1000s in the Japanese time of the Heinan era. Her writing was described as a modern blogger, and the book on the brief history of, of Japan compares her entries to what we would call a meme in today's time. But make no mistake, she was still intellectually very smart and witty, and could include precise detail of events in writing from just her memory. The book includes observations and thoughts of the Empress Teshi, the fallout of her father's death, the prevalent fashion of the time, and some of her personal relationships. This book, along with the tale, of, the tale of Genji, are highly regarded from this Hainian period. But like I said, Sei Shonigan's writing was different and not everyone appreciated it. The author of the tale of Genji is Murasaki Shikibu. She generally dislikes Sei Shonigan's writing, although both wrote beautifully and evocatively about their lives. The book describes Sei Shonigan as the hot 41 with the comeback ready, and Murasaki Shikibu as the wallflower who thinks of something clever on the way home. Thanks for listening to my presentation.